So I've come out for another walk today because it was a nice day. I thought I'd get out of the house for a bit. And uh, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, what happens to your excess solar when you start exporting more than what you're consuming in your house and it goes back out into the local network. Because it got me thinking, uh, I've heard a lot of people say that actually excess solar power doesn't make it back through the local transformer back out to the wider national grid. Um, and I took that to, to be the truth uh, for a while. Um, but then it got me wondering, actually, is that actually true? Because somebody mentioned in my comments that power does in fact flow back through the local transformer back out to the wider grid. So I thought I'd better look into this a little bit more. And I had a bit of a Google around um, and I couldn't find a lot of information, but I did find uh, one source of information which I thought was at least reasonably reliable and might give me uh, something of a reliable uh, answer to this question. So you could imagine this scenario at the moment on a sunny day like today, I could be pushing seven kilowatts back out to the grid and that's fine if not many people in my area have got solar and I can basically offset some of the demand that my neighbours are using, uh, those who are on my particular phase at least. So typically what happens is um, uh, power comes into your uh, network, your local network, uh, in three phases. Um, so three sub power supplies that are all out of phase by about one third of a cycle. Uh, I won't go into the details of that, there are plenty of plenty more better videos out there on that subject. But typically in the UK, each house will get one of those phases, more or less taken at random. So you can imagine on a street, it could go, uh, let's say there are three houses on that street. You might have uh, the first house on phase one, the second house on phase two, the third house on phase three, and so on down the line. Uh, and you can imagine that if I'm exporting out on my particular phase, that would be offsetting some of the demand from uh, my neighbours who, who happen to be on the same phase. But you can imagine a situation where, let's say everybody in a, in a little housing estate, for example, that all share one local transformer, if they're all exporting excess solar back out to the grid, everybody's exporting, which means nobody's offsetting anybody's demand. And in fact, that you could find a situation where there is more generation in that network than demand, and so some of that power has to go somewhere. Now, I wondered, well, what would happen in that situation? Maybe the transformer would just sort of stop any power coming into the network and nothing would go would flow back out. However, uh, this uh, National Grid web page, which I'm gonna to read to you now, suggests maybe that actually that uh, it doesn't work quite that way. So let me just read this little bit here. When electricity is routed from the transmission system into a distribution substation via a grid supply point, its voltage is lowered so that it can enter our homes and businesses at a usable level. This is carried through a distribution network of smaller overhead lines or underground cables into buildings at 240 volts. I think everybody more or less understands this. Now this is the interesting paragraph. With the growth of power sources connecting at a local network level, known as embedded generation, electricity flows can also be switched so that GSPs export energy back onto the transmission system to help balance the grid. So it's not completely clear to me what they mean by grid supply point in this particular context. Does it mean actually your local transformer or does it mean uh, a distribution network point a little bit further out than that um, where you could potentially hook up for example a solar farm or something to, to that point. But if it does mean those local substations then that's great news because it means a new housing estate with solar on every roof um, isn't going to have a problem when everybody's exporting in the middle of the day. Um, it could actually help support the, uh, the wider uh, grid and um, help offset demand further out which is, um, which is brilliant. But if I've misinterpreted that, uh, please do let me know. If you work for National Grid or a distribution network operator, for example, and you know better, please do let me know. I'd love to know more details on, on how this works because I find it absolutely fascinating and I'm sure other people would uh, like to learn more as well. Um, but that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.